What is poppin', y'all? Hope y'all doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. So, you guys are in a new scenery today. You guys are probably like, what are we doing here, Blake? Uh, well, let me explain it to y'all. Hope you guys are, first, doing great, like I always say. And uh, second, we're starting a podcast. We're going to start something new. It's called the Keep On Keeping On Podcast. You guys know I say, keep on keeping on. Don't let him bring you down. I even got the bracelets that say it. So, that's what we're rolling with. We're rolling with the Keep On Keeping On Podcast. We want high energy people, good people coming onto our show, uh, just people that are motivated, just all that all the way around. It's going to be amazing. So we got a really special guest for our first guest. He literally has been there since like day one for me uh, with social media, uh, especially with YouTube. Um, he, he was one of the first people I actually ever talked to on social media when it came to, uh, hey, I'm about to do this 30 day challenge on YouTube. But without further ado, let's literally introduce our first guest here on the Keep On Keeping On podcast. He has came up with multiple shows on social media. He's based out of the UK. He is multi-talented when it comes to social media and digital designing. Give it up for my good buddy, Des Herbert. What is poppin', Des? Hope you're doing great, buddy. How are you and everything else like that today? I'm great. I'm fantastic. I'm pleased to be here. I'm honored to be here on this uh, first podcast. Yeah, first one ever, brother. Uh, it's crazy. All the way over there in the UK. How's how's the UK treating you? UK is fine. I, you know, with everything going on, we still can't complain. Look, we are communicating thousands of miles away. It's but crazy. We're still here. Yeah, here we are. We're here. We're live. Well, not technically live. We're first podcast coming out of the gate we're uh doing the best we got here and uh yeah man we we had to we're gonna it looks like this is might be the first time we're doing this but it might be the second or third but we'll leave that to everybody else <laughs> <laughs> hey you, you know we got to do what we got to do we got to make sure it sounds good it looks good and everything so we're gonna we're just gonna roll on there man and just keep it up keep on keeping on thank you for coming on though brother for the uh first ever keep on keeping on podcast i really truly appreciate it I'm happy to be here. I'm pleased to be here. Anything I could do, no problem at all. Means a lot to me. I, I definitely, since especially you being one of the first people that literally, as I said in the intro, uh, one of the first people that I actually introduced myself to like doing this 30 day uh, challenge that I was going to do myself here on YouTube. And uh, <sighs> what, what did you kind of think of that when I came at you and I said, hey, what do you think about this whole 30 day challenge here on YouTube and stuff, man? It's going to be it's going to be a wild ride, I feel like. Well, if anybody could have done it, I knew that you could have done it, you know, because for the simple reason is that you put things together quickly, determination, you don't pre you don't procrastinate, and you just get on with it. So if anybody could have done the 30 day, I thought, yeah, you know what, I might not be able to do it straight, but you be able to do it. Yeah, I think it's like uh, May 17th or something as of today is where we're recording this. So uh, this might come out after my 1,000th day in a row, which is insane to think that we were talking at one point about 30 days. And hey, you know, what do you think uh -huh. about 30 days? And we're literally about, uh, since I'm like what I'm saying, I'm shooting this podcast, it's, listed, it's less than 20 some days away from my 1,000 days in a row here. on 1,000 days. Started out with, it's wild. Started out from 100 subscribe. I remember back in the day with like 120 subscribers or something like that, and uh, and a thousand days later we're almost over we're over 5,000. So it's wild, man. It's it's a it's heck incredible. of a ride. I appreciate you. What a, I appreciate what a journey. What a journey. <laughs> there's, yeah. so many, there's so many times where I wanted to just not. I just wasn't feeling it, man. I wasn't feeling it, and you were there, and I appreciate that. You know, you were one of those yeah. people that were like, hey. Uh, just keep it up, man. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a great story. It's gonna be this. It's gonna be that. So I'm really happy to have you on here, kind of to talk about more or less like almost like a little bit of my story, and then we're gonna get into some of you too. So like see what everything you're up to, because uh, you're pretty big into social media like lately. You've been doing all kinds of stuff here. You've been doing all kinds of stuff. You've been in it for the last few years on a bunch of different platforms. So. Um, What's your favorite platform out right now? What are you What are you feeling? Oh, right well, I still have a, an affinity with Snapchat. I still like Snapchat. Um, my platform of choice is YouTube, and that's where I provide most of, produce most of my content for at the moment. But uh, Snapchat still has some special magic. That's where we met on Snapchat, you know. And yeah. you done some ah, you, you wow. remember that Chris, Christmas special oh, put my together? Goodness. Yeah, the Christmas special was wild because I remember like uh, I, I approached you with the ideal. I said, "Hey, Des, uh, I don't know how to make it, but I, I need a thing, and I need it to change every yeah. day. But it can be the same thing, but I need the numbers to change every day and to do something crazy." You're like, "You need me to make 
what? And I was like, I need you to make 25 different things for me, basically. And, 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 and I was like, I don't have anything to pay you, but I, I was like, I don't know what we could do. What do you need me to do? Like, what can I do for you? And you're just like, oh, okay. Like, and then I was you're like, when do you need it? And I said, well, uh, I want to do it for Christmas. I want to do it for the 25 days of takeover on Christmas. Yeah. And, and you're like, um, it's this, it's November, like, like, 20 or 20 something the 29th or whatever 28th of it's like you we literally had like two days whatever it was 28 29th, <laughs> and you're like uh um uh okay uh oh, this guy's crazy <laughs> I, uh, but i was everywhere i was everywhere on snapchat and that's how we met uh you you just couldn't get away from me i was literally you, everywhere every every one story he was on there if anybody was doing anything for the story he was there yeah and also it's like I, I knew you could, you know, I knew there was something in it, you know, like there was something special happening. There was something in the getting everybody together. Yeah, yeah. it was just because uh, it was some, never been done before. No. So it's like there was, there was something special about, it. you know, people come to you with ideas and, and you think, yeah, no. Nah. But, you know, this idea was like, oh, this is this is fantastic. I'm going to yeah. be part of this. I pitched it to you and I said, hey, you know, it's like we literally have two days to get this out and or to about two or three days to get this out or whatever. And uh, um, I said, I, I've already kind of talked to a few people here and there, and I just need to get this figured out. And uh, we had some big, big hitters in there. Like a lot of people now that are, yeah. that are in like movies and shows and commercials and they all streamy award winners. And yes. so it's so crazy, man. Like uh, just uh, one of the people literally was in a streamy award up against DJ Khaled. So I was like, we have wow. people on that like yeah. that kind of caliber coming in. It was just wild to yeah. to think that Snapchat was like that at one point, and uh, uh, it was it was crazy, man. It was crazy. So uh, I know you had a couple shows over on Snapchat. You had um, yes. three, three facts from thirty three years ago, and you also had a show called uh, "Who Said That." Uh, yes. So we're gonna get into those. Which out of the two shows do you think was your favorite? Which one did you enjoy My more? My favorite show was Who Said That by far. I say by far. Yeah. yeah it was my favorite show. It's when I start, first started, and then there was three facts from 33 years ago in three snaps. Three snaps. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Why. I always just seem to do it the same. But yeah, yeah that was. Uh, but even though the three facts took more effort. Okay. Yeah. It took me more time, I say, more time and a little bit more effort. People didn't know me for that. They said like, "Oh yeah, he does." Uh, who said that? Yeah. I'm like, and, but no. <laughs> like, you, nah. you know, you know. The funny thing was, is as soon as you just how you just said 33 facts from 33 years ago in three snaps. I, I remember the the song. It's the magic number. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, it just it just literally just played in my head because you're like three. It's the magic, and you're like literally were dancing through it. It was so yeah. funny. Uh, <laughs> And that was that was a good time, man. I, I really enjoyed that because a lot of that was music based, and you know, as being a DJ and yeah. stuff like that, it was really cool. And then uh, a lot of it was like, "Hey, Michael Jackson came out this day, thirty three years ago, with this song," or you know, or "New Kids on the Block" did this, and it was just something always cool. So I really enjoyed that stuff. Uh, and then I enjoyed it almost more than uh, who said that sometimes until I became, uh, well, Steve became part of uh, a little bit of there for a while. Uh, so who yes. said that? That was pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. He could sell yeah. anything. I heard he could sell anything. Yeah. That that was, I know what bringing Steve in was was great because we had this little commercial game with Steve and we had the, the overlays on it as well, like <laughs> like a proper commercial. Do you remember why we started doing that, right? Uh, with the whole uh, because everybody was running ads on everything and everything had yeah. ads everywhere and they weren't paying us for ads, so we said, well, we might as well make our own ads, and so we just we started putting our own ads in our own Snapchat stories. <laughs> <laughs> he would sell everything uh, from from people's cats to to anything night quill it didn't yeah. matter what it was he would sell it to you stealthy sticks uh everything it was crazy so steve still lives on I, still steve lives on on my youtube videos uh at the end of the videos steve always seems to always have a mention at least every other video is, is Steve is mentioned in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always wait to the end of those videos, which we'll get into that just because uh, it's so funny, man. It's like how how Steve uh, has evolved to that, even you know, and uh, it's wild though. Um, but yeah, so uh, we kind of talked about the thirty three facts. Uh, 
who said that though kind of give us a little backstory what got you started into it and what made you what what really got you into uh doing the whole uh the whole like uh who said that show and stuff well who's who said that was born out of uh, i guess i wasn't snapping regular and i wanted to do something a regular on a regular basis uh so keep me active so I would do it no matter. So I was driving around and I thought, I like quotes and how do I incorporate quotes or something like that. And then I was driving around and went, who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? That's and awesome. I, I actually went in like, who said that? <laughs> and uh, said and that's that? actually how, how I done it in the show. You know, I'll get a camera. Like, who said that? <laughs> it, the, 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 the reaction that you gave was so funny. Um, <laughs> You were so serious about the question part of it. You would be like, yeah. you'd be like, "What show was this, this, and this?" Blah blah blah, and then all of a sudden, it'd just be, "Who said that?" And like you just freaked out. Like it was so funny. <laughs> it, it was it was a whole nother level. Um, and, and same with the envelopes and stuff like that. When the next day, because you it was a two part it was a two part show, and yeah. uh, it the whole next day he would he would do like a um, kind of give him like a little backstory. They would do a whole. Uh, like who won? Because people would like put like he would do you did like four or five of them. Was it pretty close to? The yeah, way? it was. Uh, it was four questions. Four uh, questions. Yeah, four questions, and I, I would announce the winner on the next evening, twenty four hours later. Yeah, and then I would have an envelope come in, and yeah. <laughs> it was so funny, man. It was it, it, they come in from the air above. It, it was so creative. <laughs> you never knew where the envelope was coming. It'd be shaking, smacking him in the side. It was so funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was, that was so cool, man. I, I, I love that show. And so like that, and that makes a lot of sense, you know, cause you, you went from, you went from like that, like whole Snapchat thing. And then you moved over towards like Instagram and I know you were, uh, kind of a little hesitant to move over to Instagram. Um, yeah, but now you're on Instagram as well as Snapchat still, right. Or you're not so much on Snapchat as much anymore. I, actually, I'm not on Snapchat as much or Instagram as much as I would like to be honest with you. So the the as I'm saying here to your audience, uh, I'm going to be more active. I will be more active on Instagram. So I, I want to bring. I was trying to think of another show, but I want to bring that same show at a different production level to yeah. Instagram. And I think it will be great. Some IGTV, I, like some IGTV stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, so, cool. yes. I think if, if I bring it there, it'll just. It will lift. Hopefully, hopefully, it will lift people a little bit. I make put a smile on some people's faces. Yeah, just, just a little, you know. Exactly, exactly, and that's what you need. That's what the world needs, man. The world needs more people giving out the positivity, the, 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 the good vibe, energy, and stuff like that. Because there's too much negativity already in the world. There's not Absolutely. enough positivity. Yeah. Um. So that, that's what's cool about you know you you literally you, you're like a really good person. You don't you you keep yourself humbled, which is really awesome. I appreciate that. You know. Uh, you, you understand you got to do what you got to do to, to really just get by and everything like that. And a lot of people, they got big heads and they don't want to, they just don't want to, they, they're stuck in their ways. And you know, it's, so I appreciate yeah. that. That's awesome though. So, so you got, you, so you, so you did Snapchat, you start out there, you got over on Instagram for a minute there and now you're over on the YouTube on the freaking YouTube, man. What is, what's yes. the whole, what's yes. the whole, uh, what's your whole platforms? Uh, what are you doing on YouTube? I, I kind of know, but the, the audience doesn't really know what you do over there. So yeah. Well, YouTube was as to uh, to help people get online with video. Uh, after speaking to a lot of clients, asking them to, uh, well, try to advise them on video, and I, I was coming up against a lot of the same uh, the same resistance in a way as to video. They were scared of video. How did they get started? What do they use? Uh, and I was always saying, use whatever you've got. It doesn't have to be this completely polished because they didn't understand about authenticity. Yeah. A lot of businesses, a lot of business owners were, I guess, maybe 30s, 40s, and 50s and upwards. And I didn't understand about authenticity. All I understood about is this production level. And I'm saying, well, how much people, money they're going to get back and how much. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And I was trying to get across that uh, people need to understand who you are and what your story is exactly. more than your polished production. And coming from Snapchat, and even before that, you understand that authenticity is what's needed. So I thought, let me set up a YouTube channel to help people get online with video, uh, you know, and it's it's been a great journey so far. That's awesome. 
Yeah, and, and the thing is, is you're 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 going over there all all over. You were the person I was chasing for a while on YouTube. I remember that. <laughs> uh, and you said you're not passing me, Blake. You're not passing. I'm like, oh, I'm, no. gonna, I'm gonna pass you. I'm gonna pass you. And I, I was determined. And you know that was the thing because we had that we had that whole thing going where we I would I would I finally passed you. I remember the day. I finally I don't remember the exact day, but I remember I passed you and I hit you up and I said, Hey, Des, and you said. Don't even. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I knew, don't I knew, even. I, and and, and you, we already we already knew what happened, and it was so funny. I was yeah. just like, and then it was like two days later. It was like I dropped like four or five subscribers, and you gained like fifteen or something. And you passed me, and you're like, hey Blake, and I'm like, oh my goodness. I was like, that's when I feel like it actually like it started, and it started bouncing those back and forth. Because I remember you would pass me, I'd pass you, and it, we did that for a month or so, and then I yeah. end up I end up just took off. So. Um, which I think that's what I you think, went live, didn't you? you went live and then you just skyrocketed. You can't see my hand, skyrocketed. Yeah, just which is good though. And now I feel like I'm still kind of stuck now, but um, you're gonna, I, I feel it, man. I feel like you're coming. I feel like you got a lot of ways to go because uh, your stuff on, on YouTube and everything that I feel like is just so much better, just so much better than a lot of other people's like stuff. Um, I come to your stuff all the time, just not even just as like support, I go there as like because it's actually good stuff. Um, and it's like helps out because like if there's so many apps out there, how to like remove the backgrounds and stuff like that. And they're just so like so much stuff you got to deal with. Like, you know, like you got to cut it out. You got to be really precise with certain things. And you come out with these apps that are literally like, oh, yeah, you just turn this on, hit this button here, do this right here. It cancel yeah. like the, the whole background's gone. The, this is gone. This is gone. And people will do videos on those, which is cool. And you know that's what, but what makes you stand out. I feel like from them is you literally will be able to do what they do in about three or four, five minutes, and that they they take them 30, 40 minutes to show you how to do it. And, and it's just nobody has forty minutes really to kind of no. sit there and explain, like listen to how how do I how do I move this background? And you're just like three minutes later, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm better. I think what, the way I s decided to do the channel was. Don't worry about monetization. Sorry, YouTube, but I haven't listened to this. But yeah, <laughs> mainly focus on, you know, getting people to watch what they need to and then get out and carry on to do, carry on doing what they need to. Because I know when I, if you're, if I was stuck on something and I go to a YouTube video, I actually want to find that information and go, right? And get yeah. on with it. And that's what I want to do. And I guess that's what a lot of people want to do. So to, to for me to go on 15 minutes, 7 minutes, 8, 9, 10 minutes, just to, with a lot of uh, filler, I don't think it's serving anybody. So, no, And it's, to me, it's like, well, you subscribe or they don't subscribe. But I, I, deep down, I know I'm giving information as quickly as possible. Like, and they're they gone. Yeah, a lot of those people they they want to get that ten minute mark so they get the extra ads. Yeah, to, yeah. So they can put 15, yeah. 15 ads in their ten minute video or so. And uh, the thing of it is, I feel like is with you is, is that was never the thing. I remember I said, dude, you should monetize those. These are great videos and stuff like that. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, but I just don't want to right now. I want to make oh, sure no, no. I want to get to yeah. a certain goal and then I'll maybe do it this and that. Like I'm just really here to help the people, which is I really inspiring. I, I mean. I, that's awesome that you're 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 willing to do yeah. that. Yeah, I think that eventually things eventually. will happen in their own time. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Which I mean, I think everyone understands. You know, uh, we we have to get paid a little bit for what we do here and there. It's like yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah. and, and the thing is, is like um, when you start out on the thing, it's it's a hustle, it's a grind. You know, and I and I and when you when you get what you deserve, it, you know, you're able you're able to do it. And, and I feel like it's a hundred percent okay to to collect that money yeah, for something because yeah. you've worked so hard for something. No, yeah. You've worked hard for it. And, and it's, it's good to, uh, it's definitely good to get paid for what you're doing somehow. Mm -hmm. And it, I think with YouTube and other platforms, you form, uh, a, a, a loyal following, you know, that are there that they will support you along the way mm -hmm. as you go on. And they are quite happily, you know, if they, they're quite happily support you with anything you're in any of your endeavors. But with the channel that I'm doing, I thought, you know what, don't think about, this is my personal thing, was don't think about any of that. Just produce the video, like the videos that I would want to see and the apps that I would, I'm would i actually using mm -hmm. that are very simple. Because there are a lot of apps out there that are it's like, what, look, this is no good. Yeah, like it may do yeah. the work, but it's so difficult to, too many steps. And I was like, no, I wouldn't use it. Yeah. If I'm not using it, I won't recommend it to anybody because you know for me like uh 
I'm a big person on steps. Like if I have to add a step into editing, I have to add a step into this, or I have to add yeah. this kind of stuff. And you know how I am. Like I'm just like, eh, I'm good. Yeah. I'm not doing it. And you're just like, well, it's it, it just you, you'll be okay. Just to give it some time. And and you know, you know how long Luma Fusion lasted on my phone? It lasted about <laughs> a week, a week, and it was gone. I was like, we're yeah. done. We're done with this, you know. It, but I tried it, yeah. you know, and I just could, yeah. it was. But it was an extra step that I, you know I didn't understand. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't want to learn because I don't have the time yeah. to learn it. Even if I did have the time to learn it, I mean, we're all here on this crazy uh, time out of uh, the world and everything right now. But uh, yeah. you know, it's one of those things right now. It's just like I, I, You've I, got I, I, I yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm used to my process. It works. It's clean. It looks all right. I can make it look pretty, and, and it's better than ninety percent of people that I feel like put out content sometimes, yeah. or, or just as good. So yeah, absolutely. And it could be way worse, and, and a lot of it is shot from an iPhone. So it's you know that's that's a good reason. And people say, well, I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have this. I don't have this. Exactly. It, it looks like we're in a huge studio right now, or whatever. I'm literally in a second bedroom. We're, <laughs> we're, we're Skype calling basically across the across the pond over there all the way to the uk you can literally do it so that's what's cool about See, this. well you are an inspiration to a lot okay when you when uh, I, a lot of people find out your whole story of everything yeah. it, it's, it'll be inspirational because <laughs> you started you started with your phone you're editing on the sometimes on the go and you're using whatever tools you have whatever you tools you have to carry on and you haven't missed a day no. like you haven't missed a day <laughs> Yeah, it, and there must have been days where you must have thought, you know what, I'm not yeah. posting today. Oh man, there is, there is, and the thing is, is like people like yourself and uh, you know a few other people that I've actually been able to be cool with and stuff like that. They they literally just be like, you know, you're 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 gonna regret it if you don't. And I said, hey, yeah, I I get it, I get it, you know. So um, it's not so much I would regret it. I think it's just I think it's in the long run. I I, I knew I could do it. So and I and I, and I appreciate everyone yeah. to be like Blake, just shut up and just do it. Just get it done, yeah. and uh, you know I watched a lot of that, like from Gary V and a lot of other people. There's they they don't make excuses. They just get the stuff done, and it's just like yeah. you know it's like shut up and just do it. And, and I have that mindset, I think, and it's like I think it gets me in trouble sometimes because people will ask me stuff, and I I come off maybe a little too direct, but you know it's that's that's well, just my style, I guess. You know, and that's how I it guess is. it's you're a good guy, man, and, and uh, yeah. that was Appreciate also. It. Being, being more direct will save you a lot of time uh, and a lot of conversations So because people know exactly what they're going to get. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's no point in asking, or yes, I'll ask because it'll help, or it won't help. You know, or you'll, it, save, it saves so much time yeah. because you're like straight. It's like people know. Otherwise, people tend to take advantage if they think they can get away with stuff sometimes. You see? Yeah, and you know, and, and I, I've never been one of those people to want to tell somebody what they want to hear. I tell them yeah. what, what they need to hear. Same with DJ. Yeah. Same with DJ. Uh, I've learned a whole lot from a lot of people. They said, uh, um, don't give the crowd what they want. Give them what they need. And it helps build the atmosphere yeah. of the whole situation. And I, and I feel like I have did that with a lot of other stuff. If somebody asks my opinion on something yeah. and, and I brutally just tear them apart with, with good, solid reasons, then, you know, they asked it. It wasn't me, you know. So that's why I look at it like if, if someone's like, hey, how's this thumbnail look? How's this or how's this video look? What do you think about this? Well, I think you could do this better, this better, this better, this better. If you can't come back to me with a solid reason why you did something, which I learned that from my sister as well. She she was in school and when she did all of her schooling stuff like that, the teacher was like, oh, you're not supposed to do it like that or you can't do it that way or whatever. Right. And uh, she explained to them like, hey, this is how, this is why it's done like this. And the teachers were like, if it made sense, they were like, yeah, that, you know, that makes sense. You know, keep it that way then. That makes sense. And, uh, you know, so someone can come at me and give me a solid reason why they don't think my opinion is like, they asked for my opinion. They don't think my opinion is the, is what they wanted or they, they yeah. or the reason why they did it was better. This reason I will give it, I'll be like, you know what? That makes sense. I didn't see it that way. So, uh, yeah, which I think is really good. cool. It's really cool. Yeah. And, and a lot of people don't, uh, I feel like a lot of people are, are, they can't, they can't take that criticism, which I think that's what stops a lot of creators on the whole on yeah, any, on any yeah. platform on any platform because if someone comes at you and says that to you and says hey that that video absolutely was it sucked it was trash and then and they're like i think you could do way better it's not that you're literally telling the person that they suck you're just telling them that you know that they could do better and well uh, you know what that sometimes when when you hear that constructive criticism mm -hmm. it's 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 needed some people can't take it straight exactly. away but yeah. give them time to absorb it it's like you know what he's right why they're he's why right. they're yelling at you and stuff like that you just just walk away and just say okay yeah. well have fun and then, well, then they, they understand the busier you get 
the more your time, the more you need your own time, yeah. and the less time you have for spending lots of time trying to debate things. You know, you've got to sort of say, it was this or it's that. You know, and you have to get on with it. That's exactly right. A hundred percent there. I agree with you there. Um, so yeah, with the whole YouTube thing, though, like I said, you're you got and uh, people like you, except like when you first started doing it, like there was people like that what you were doing. And you were asking them for like, hey, what about this? What do you think about that? With your outtakes and uh, and all yes, your like and yes. all your mistakes and stuff. And it yeah. was crazy because you came at me and I remember you asked me. You said, this X Y Z person said uh, they said they don't think I should put it in. And I said, well, what makes it different? Like literally, what makes their videos different from your videos? Then you know, really just the subscriber count. The video still could be you could have yeah. the same script. You guys could literally write the same script and say the same exact words in the same exact background, and uh, you don't stand out. So the thing yeah. is, it's like, and you, when you started doing your, when you started doing your, your outtakes or whatever, I feel like that's a cool step and it helps with your watch time even. Cause like I will sit there, I watched the whole video. I learned how to do it. And I'm just like, all right, what do we got in store here? What's coming up? What, what's he going to say? Steve, Steve. Like, uh, <laughs> or you, you're over there yeah. oh, la, 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 singing and stuff. It's so funny. Uh, you, 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 yeah. Cause uh, <laughs> you remember I asked you and uh, cause it's a very popular popular YouTuber had said about, um, yep. yeah, about, I asked him if he was going to put the outtakes in. He said, no. No, don't do it. Yeah. And it's crazy. That's wild to me. Like, I, I think it's, I think it's cool that you do it. You know, it, it definitely gets you stand out. Like how many other people put their outtakes in it? Probably a million, but, uh, you do it your own certain way. And you know, the, the you don't see a whole lot of people do it though. Um, no. there's just so many people, you know, you just, you, you got to stand out. You got to be differently. So it's nice to that. You know, you got a million people that don't do it. And you got a handful that probably do do it, so it's nice. Yeah, yeah, you got. It was tough. This, you know, like to think about it, uh, but then because you now, want it polished, you want it polished. You, yeah. you, you want it to look good, and you don't want them to well, see the flaws. Yeah, but the more you do things, like now, it's like now I'm thinking the the thinking was different then, but the thinking now is like do your own thing. Yep. Even if no one's watching. Yeah, that, that's the same way. Cause like, so I was told by a couple of people that might, this might even help you out in the long run. Uh, um, I was told by a couple of people when I was DJing, it doesn't matter if there's one person in the room or 10,000 people in the room, put the same party on as for one person as for 10,000, because that one person might be somebody recorded. Yeah. It might be a recorded label guy. You know, he might just be sitting at the bar, a uh, normal everyday guy sitting at a little tiny local bar trying to get away from everything. And he hears you play. That could be a whole life changing thing just from one person. One person. You that's never, right. You never know. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. doesn't, the same with content. You know, it's, it takes one person to see the content that you make and people are willing to help you. People are willing to get you to the next step or willing to work with you, you know, and it's like they see that you're putting that work in and they go, this guy, it only takes one. It only takes one. It doesn't take a whole handful of people to make you, make you big. It yeah. Takes one. It's true. It takes one person in it. So when, when, when I try to do things, it's like, you know, you have to give it that same, I always use the word energy, right? Because energy is something you can. Even the word energy has a lot of like energy. I feel like energy. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the one thing you can, you can transfer that across. doesn't matter where it is. It's the one thing that if you're, online creating any content it's the thing that you need and uh, yeah. as a friend of mine who told me years ago she wanted to be on tv and she said to me give it a hundred and ten percent because the camera only sees a hundred percent of what you're doing if you give it a hundred percent it looks like you're a little bit flat yeah yeah true. so you have to give it a little extra and like, not say extra but you know you have to yeah i feel you you, you just want energy to, yep you got to add that if, if when you're making Kool-Aid, man, you got to add the sugar. It doesn't taste as good. <laughs> exactly right. That's a good one. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to add that little extra in there to keep, it, that, to keep it going, man. You got to add that sugar. The sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's cool, man. What, what really got you started into whole social media stuff? Like what really opened up your eyes to the whole social uh, media? You know, I was, if I go back now, I was producing websites uh, over on uh, what was it called? Uh, uh, Des Di uh, Des Herbert Digital, right? Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, De yeah, Des Herbert Digital was born to provide video content and for and for social media. Before I was doing web design and development a lot, but okay, video it has my 
this is my passion. You I, know, I feel I'm, you. I feel you there. That's, yeah. Like DJing and, is like I love DJing, but like I I feel like the more I do video and and the more I do this stuff like this, I I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot, and I and I, yeah. and I kind of feel like I'm enjoying it a little bit more than than even <laughs> DJing. DJing sometimes. And I love yeah. DJ. I love the DJ. So it's crazy. But the thing is, you never know where your life is going to take you on the journey because it in it, if you're constantly learning things you may come across something that that's you find your why your passion and along these way of trying different things and you might it might change in five years time who knows but it'd be yeah. along the, it might be along the same lines i've always had a interest in video uh but you know it's the when I, I speak to my children about the same similar things, it's like when you find something that captivates you and you get up first thing, you think about it. Last thing at night, you're thinking about it. All day, you're thinking about it. You can't stop. You, as soon as you get a chance to go on and create, I'm like, I need to get on and create. Yeah. My okay. mind is Amazing. working, yeah, like overtime now. Like, since we've had this conversation the other day, there's so many more ideas in my head now. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah, it, I need a like a 50 hour day. Totally. Yeah. And, and, you know, the thing of it is, though, is like uh, I've always realized when because like when I'm hanging out with other creators and stuff like that or even talking with other creators, it gets you that energy because they, they yeah. have the same passion, the same drive for yes. the, the video content, the stuff that you're doing. And, you know, it's like if I'm like if I'm hyped up about it and you're you got you're you're pitching me with an ideal and I'm hyped about that ideal that ten, that makes your ideal 10 times more hyped you know what i mean you're like oh yes. my gosh like somebody's loving this ideal if they're loving this ideal and they don't they don't bullshit anything that i know yeah. this ideal is going to be amazing so yeah, um, yeah. which absolutely. is awesome Ab absolutely i tell you like when when you create it, you can transfer that energy and passion to someone else exactly. and they can they can when you do it and and you you produce it and then you get a comment to say, well, I love your energy. Uh, lo I'm like, what? You can see that? <laughs> it's yeah, so good. Honestly. It's wild, man. It's a, uh, it's a whole nother, it's a whole literally like a whole nother world. It feels like sometimes it's crazy. So, um, yeah. So the di whole digital Des Herbert digital, uh, what, what really got you into that? Like, is that, is that the first thing that really got you into social media you think, or was there stuff before that even that got you into social media? Uh, I, got into, I guess I got into it uh, through wanting to produce produce um, videos and that for clients and digital services for social media. So I, I started this arm like the Des Herbert Digital and like, almost like personal branding. So I will produce in content uh, for small to medium sized businesses nice. uh, to do yeah, video and social media. I learned so much from. Uh, being a, a guest, Gary Vee says, practitioner. I learned so much from doing, doing, you know, understanding yeah. understanding what and how long the content should be to hold the audience. It doesn't have to be an hour. It yeah. doesn't have to be 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be a minute. It could be 30 seconds. And that could be, like, it's done. You know? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I know, and I, and I agree with that, man. I do. I, I, saw, I feel like once it's, um, you know, you're doing, like, different things here, different things there, it, you, you just never know it's like uh where it's really going to take you at and you know it's like when you're doing all this stuff with all these clients and stuff like that how was that how how was it is that is that what did you like more did you like the back end or like did you like any of the whole client working stuff like that with them and like co collabing ideas with them was that was that like fun to do or what was that like that was not like what you really was feeling uh, well, I'll tell you what I do love is uh, I love working with clients I love pitching an idea uh, I love forward thinking. So, for example, I may some, see something a a big brand is doing, a corporate, and how can I introduce that to uh, small to medium sized businesses and give them the same quality, you know? Yeah, better for, bang for, for their buck. Yeah, yeah, for that's, them. That's cool. And how or how can I give them something ahead of time or ahead, ahead of their competitor? Not everybody goes for it, and yeah. some sometimes I have been. I guess I have been too far ahead for them which you know which and you know and, and that's like not a bad thing to be above the curve but they're just they yeah. don't they don't see that you know they don't because yeah. like you said in the, towards the beginning of this podcast you said uh they're more or less for like the they don't have that they just want the the initial right now they want the now yeah. factor yeah. they don't want the well uh nobody else is doing that so why should we kind of mindset they're like yeah. Yeah. you know and and 
a lot of companies don't see that, but there's a lot of more companies nowadays I feel that are like branding out and would, would be more willing to work with that kind of atmosphere and that kind of like mindset than yes. as of two years ago, two years ago, brands didn't yeah. even know what to pay people. Like, isn't that wild? Uh, it's true, it's yeah. so wild. That's crazy. Two, three, <laughs> two, three years ago, people were doing brands for, uh, on, on platforms like social, like Snapchat and Instagram and stuff like that. And you know, it just, it wasn't normal. It wasn't the new normal. It was just was like, yeah. what is like, we don't know what to pay you. And you know, and people were making tens of thousands of dollars doing it and getting free product and stuff, but they, nobody knew there was no, there was no guide. There was no, yeah. There was there was no, no benchmark of what to pay people. So it was like, yeah, it was a wild west. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, it, but that, see, uh, it's almost like if brands, some brands didn't get it and you know, they could, you could get left behind. Yeah, oh yeah, that's you what happened. That's what happened. I yeah. think with Snapchat, it got left behind. I mean, they have a lot of cool features. They have a lot of cool stuff, but I think I feel like they got left behind. Instagram swept them right up out of the thing, and they swept them. And it's it's sad to say, but I mean, Snapchat was a great platform. It's never going to be like I don't ever see it being like it was. But no. two three years ago, that was that was a prime platform. And to be able to be like one of the top dogs on the platform, it was amazing to be able to, you know, one of the top people. Uh -huh. It was, it was so cool, you know, and <laughs> it was just so wild. That was incredible. <laughs> that was incredible. Look, so you crazy. was, you was meeting some, like, yeah. mind blowing people, man. The people that yeah. I, the people that I've met from Snapchat are now working with the David Dobricks, the, you know, the, the like the. Like they literally worked with all these people. They with the uh, they've literally worked with the Jake Paul, wow. the David Dobricks, the um, I, I literally so many people I can't even think of them all. Like they've all worked the Phase Rugs. Like they've all worked with it's all these huge YouTubers that have ten plus million. Tanner Fox, another one to throw out there. You know, they're they're all these huge YouTubers. They've all worked with them. They live with them. A couple of them. Billy Mann, wow. lived, like, like Billy Mann, he was in the Christmas thing. He's done multiple takeovers yeah, for me. Yeah. He's been uh, we talk every now and again, and. Uh, him alone has he lives with the Funk Bros and Funk Bros. Wow. They, have, they have a bunch of they have a bunch of subscribers and and my other another good buddy Danny Burke. They both uh, they, you know they they've all hung out with all these big guys and stuff like that. So wow. it's it's so cool yeah. to be able to you know to, to see them go from a platform that's of Snapchat to then do deals with Red Bull and uh, Purple Mattress and all these other crazy companies. Man, it's so crazy to me. So wow. you never you never expect it. You never know where it's gonna go. No. So, uh, Never know. yeah, um, so let's see how. So, Snapchat's your favorite platform still overall because it has your yeah, heart. Yeah, and, it, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm not on it as much. Um, uh, so that I need to produce, I feel like I need to produce content on a regular basis. Yeah. Do that. I need a, it's almost like I need a segment to make me produce it. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe I don't show all facets or aspects of my life, uh, but I'll sh I'll share certain parts, <clears throat> some things to do with fitness to keep me accountable. But you know, when I had the this, this show, it kept me on on their regular. I was on yeah. regular. Yeah, because yeah. you, you did do a sh you had multiple shows. You've had multiple shows. Yeah, you yeah. even had a show uh, called the Live Lab, which that was pretty cool. Um, yes. Can you talk about the Live Lab a little bit? Like, what? Give us some backstory, like. What, what was the whole, like, what got you into the Live Lab? What kind of gave it the name? What kind of, like, just kind of give us some backstory about the Live Lab. Well, the Live Lab, uh, I started the Live Lab because there were people doing some great things in the world. And I wanted to, and I, I, I look at social media and I look at networks of circles of people, as you were, and everyone has their own little circle or, or their own little networks. And... I wanted to showcase and show these show other people what they are doing. So, I, you know, I, I thought, let me start a live lab. I didn't have everything I needed at the time to do it. I knew I wanted to stand up. Mm -hmm. uh, I had my phone. I had a tripod, had lights. Uh, but I wanted to stand up. I didn't want to use a computer at the time. I, well, I wanted to stand up and do a kind of production. You got to move around. Uh, and just yeah, move around. I wanted that, that stand up the energy. Energy. The energy, yeah. 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 So I started that and uh, I interviewed so I interviewed yourself yeah. along with some other great people and it was uh, yeah I done, I done that for a while I stopped in 2018. How many episodes? Do you know how many episodes you had? Or do you remember that? I think I had nearly 30 or something like that. Wow, that's good. That's and you were doing it every week. 
every week yeah, yeah every wow. monday every monday it was, it was going live that's, that's awesome that. and i and people from all over the world i mean literally all over yeah. the world so we had you know it's from the states uh south korea um wow. no it's south korea singapore uh where else do we have australia uh awesome. we didn't have it in africa no <laughs> You had a lot of people, though. You had a lot of people everywhere. Yeah, a lot of people. That's cool, though. That's cool. So you say you got something new coming out. You got some stuff in the works, you think, coming out or whatever. You got some ideals and everything else. Well, we we chatted last week, and the technologies are there for me to bring it out. I, after our conversation, I am very excited that I'll be able to, (laughs) you know, do some things that were in my head. Yeah, you know, yep. and 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 they actually create and test test the limits, I guess, test the limits yeah. uh, of what is for me is possible. I don't know what's possible yet yeah. because the root, yeah. the beyond the roof and beyond is possible, Des. You yeah, just gotta, I, I, you just got to put it all together. <laughs> well, I, this is how I'm going. This is how my thinking now is like uh, go on a lot of more plat, a few more platforms. Go on LinkedIn, okay, uh, without without fear. Yeah. Because LinkedIn was always this regimental platform for me, okay? So uh, I need to get rid of that image in my head. Yeah. And the only way to do that is to produce something, just to produce what I normally produce wherever, produce it on LinkedIn. Gotcha. Those people that would like to connect with me will. Those that won't, it won't make a difference because I'm not connected to them anyway. Exactly. So, you know, and almost like it's produced content like it was your last day, you know? If exactly. it was your last day, how would you... What, content would you produce and what for what platform just all and, energy, wild have a good time yes yes oh, that's that's how i'm that's, trying that's, to that's maintain. me and you that's me and you anyway but there's probably people out there who just would lay there yeah but but, <laughs> but not me and you know like i i have high energy so yeah i feel it when you're coming from that would be i'd be out there i'd be like well it's the last day let's just it's just full blast and just go all out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of times, uh, I guess, people are held back because of fear of other people's opinion, yeah. fear of judgment, uh, and it's like you know, it is. We need we need to try and encourage people to get away from this. Uh, some people use the acronym FUPU, fear of other people's opinions, okay. and we need to kind of get away from that, you know. Because mm-hmm. when you're in your house, you're having a good time, you know, you're enjoying yourself, you're that's comfortable the, yeah that's the real you you know yep that's why uh i haven't announced it yet but i've kind of twerked it around a little bit here and there and, and about the whole like trip and stuff i was telling you about about just like just leaving just going out and just not really having any ideal or plan um so i don't know if it's actually going to be out or not but yeah i'm just going to get in my i mean I might as well drop it now if if if, if i haven't already said it. i'm going to uh I, I order i got an air mattress coming that fits in the back seat of my car and it's it's wild man it's literally i'm just gonna i don't have no destination i i don't know why i keep saying this but i keep saying mount rushmore for some reason so maybe that's where i'll go um but basically basically uh like imagine mount rushmore would be the destination i want to go to and whatever's in between i just you know i see whatever i want to do i go until i don't feel like driving anymore i sleep and then i'm I'm, I'm feel like i leave and then just i'm just going to do that for probably a week or two and then just see what i think about it i I might like it i might like it i don't know so that's that what I want to like do. Living, that seems like living life. Yeah, that sounds know, like living life. And uh, that's why that's why I think I enjoy making content. If I was to be able to make more of a better living, because uh, I, you know, with the whole creating content yeah. stuff like that, if I could make a living with like a lot of these other YouTubers making tens of thousands of dollars a month, I'd be completely living like that. I would go buy me a little Sprinter van or something and and just travel. I think that's I think that's the move. I think that's so cool because I. The vlogs would be so much more because nobody would, you know, you would be around different people. So what's different, stopping you? There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing stopping me. Uh, just I haven't got my airbed yet. From so and, <laughs> so, uh, uh, eBay stopping me right now. eBay hasn't. hasn't oh, right, yeah. And uh, that will be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got it yet, so I'm waiting on that. But but by the time this comes out, it, I mean, it might have already. I might have already launched it. So you know, we. we I'm That's incredible. Gonna, I'm yeah. looking forward to this. It's gonna be wild, man. You know, I kind of got the idea from uh, Brass. You, you know, our buddy Brass over on, yes, on Snapchat. Yes, I was just thinking about him then. Exactly. When he said that's, it. that's when I seen him do it, man. And, and uh, I, I seen him. He just got on his bike and just left, and he just didn't have no ambition to really care about anything but himself. And and uh, the the just had fun, and just lived life. He and sold his house. I'm like, <sighs> oh my goodness, you hear that? Yeah, it's the lawnmower. They have the, we have the lawnmower. The people outside, they're literally <laughs> mowing our yard. Perfect timing. It's just like. 
Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what it is, man. You can't, yeah. You know, like this is why the podcast is called I, Keep Keep on I'll, Keep It On. You just gotta keep on keeping on. <laughs> I've got an, I've got an app that will get rid of that noise. Hey, well, I need it for the the computer. <laughs> but the app <laughs> is amazing. That app is really cool. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, basically, the whole situation though, like I just want to be able to get out and go go, and uh, you know, uh, not a lot of people have done that. Not a lot of people have done. Uh, that. And a lot of people can't do that, you know. They get they have like they have kids or they have uh, they have, like pets and stuff like that. I heard you have a new dog. You've had a new yeah. dog coming around. How's that? How's the little puppy? <laughs> she's doing fine. She's doing fine. I, nice. I actually heard her barking, and she doesn't normally bark. Like right? yeah. you know, I heard her barking earlier. Um, <laughs> uh, so she's doing fine. Now. She, awesome. I, I think she's well trained now. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you've, yeah. Had, you've had her for a, uh, you've had her for a few months now, right? Eight, I think eight months or something. Oh wow! Like See, that's yeah. It's wild. No, I wasn't I a, I I wasn't a dog cabin. person. Yeah, no. I wasn't a dog. I was like, no, nah, no did, dogs coming here. Did the kids get you? The kids get you? <laughs> yeah, they got me, man. They got me. Jeez. <laughs> that's the power, that is, isn't it? Yeah, you, can, you know, <laughs> happy kids, happy life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's what they say, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I still, I'm, I end up doing quite a bit, so. Yeah, I remember. I remember you were like, "Man, I gotta take this dang dog outside today." Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's that's really cool though. But no, I, I just think that's gonna be neat to just be able to leave and just not have any worries. That and, will be incredible. Can you imagine the way. stories that you will tell, document in your journey along the way? Can yeah. you imagine it? I just turned thirty-one, so my birthday just happened to pass. It's not. Yeah, man. Yet. Happy birthday hey, again. Happy birthday, it, brother. Happy birthday. It. And you know, I I feel like I'm not getting any younger. And you know, I figured I'm since I'm thirty-one now. I, I, in, in 30 years i'll be 61 so it's like well hell i need to i need to do something you know i only have yeah. 30 years to and you know a lot of people say well you got 30 years that's a long time and yeah it is a long time or whatever but you never know you, you might die tomorrow you might die the next day oh, the yeah. lawnmower is coming back now here we go wait for it there it is again <laughs> <laughs> the dang lawnmower coming back again it's just blowing this audio out but we're gonna keep on keeping on uh, but, Absolutely. Uh, but now keep I, on I, keeping on. I have a map, which you can't see it because it's behind the green screen right now. But I have a map of the whole United States, and I, I, that's one of my goals. I want to eventually see everything in the United States. Like, just go to, not every, you know, be in every, uh, every state, state. Every state, yeah. I want to be able to go to every state and say I did something. Because there's states that I went to when I was younger that I don't even really remember uh, too much in there. I don't really remember any of the excitement or anything that I did there. So. I think it'd be cool because I do a lot of lottery and stuff on my channel, as you know, and stuff like that. And I do logs and uh, vlogs and everything. So it's like, I think it's going to be neat just to be able to get away and just, just roam around. I think it's going to be something different that people ain't used to. Yeah, I think, you know what I feel? Um, I, th I have a feeling that it's going to be incredible. Um, I, and I feel that, your, you know, your content for your channel is yeah. going to go. Yeah, I feel like that too. Because, you know, the thing is, people, yeah, people, people this, like, like it. You're gonna use your personality, plus you're gonna add in some uh, your hopefully your, big collabs. <laughs> yeah, collabs, and hopefully. then the, the the look of it will be different slightly. I feel I've got this vision of it in my head yeah. right yeah. now. I think yeah. the looks of it will be different. The 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 cuts will be different between different scenes. They'll be like oh! more like a B-roll, like oh, yeah, like, be like like a mountain. Be, like, yeah, you, you, like imagine. Yeah. Be, I don't know why I keep using Mount Rushmore. I don't know. I mean, that might be the first place. Like I said, it keeps coming to my head. Mount Rushmore, Mount Rushmore, and I never had the ambition to even want to go to Mount Rushmore. So I don't yeah. know why it just comes to me. So um, maybe I'll just go there. Maybe that's maybe it's something telling me to go there. I don't know. Go, um, go. So we might see. And uh, I actually I GPSed it and looked it up, and I don't remember exactly how far it was, but. I looked it all out and everything, so I'm gonna think about going. Maybe I guess that might be the first destination, and then wow. whatever's on the way, as we go to. So, um, but yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. That, I think I'm really excited incredible. for all that because no, not a whole lot of people do that. You know, there's not a whole lot of people. Oh, 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 oh! Wait for it. The lawnmower again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on, a, on a screen comes a little mower. I'll, <laughs> I'll do that. I'll try to do it. I'll try to get a little like little effects of a lawnmower going across the screen. Wait, wait for it. And then it'll be like, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> little lawnmower just going across the screen. Oh my gosh. Right. And, a, and it won't, I won't even try to make it at the bottom of the screen. I'll just put it right in the middle of all of our faces and everything just because it, it's the interruption or everyone just knows it's coming. So um, <laughs> lawnmower, lawnmower warning. Like some people do like, uh, they do those warnings like headphone check or headphone warning or whatever. It'll be lawnmower warning. <laughs> 
but yeah, it is, it's wild, man. I, I like, I, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, man. It's a good time, uh, over here. We've got lawnmowers kicking and everything else. You don't know what the heck's going to go on, but <laughs> that's the whole thing, man. Like I said, you just got to keep on keeping on, man. And, uh, you know, you just never know what you're going to, what, what, what life got in store for you. So it's really cool, yeah. you know, to be able to get you on here and, uh, get you as a, oh, as a first guest and, uh, everything like that. And it's just super awesome, man. And, and we're gonna be trying to get this on Spotify. Well, we actually, we already got approved. We already got approved for Spotify, so this will technically, literally, be on Spotify, which you can you can download on your apps and open it up. So, big shout out to them for already approving it. And uh, we're gonna try to get on Apple Podcasts and uh, all the other big platforms that you can anybody can uh, you know check out the platforms and listen to podcasts at. So, I'm really excited about all that. Ah, uh, incredible! It's, it's gonna incredible. be nuts, man. Uh, I think this is gonna be. You're gonna have a great podcast series. Oh, hold on, hold on, guess. lawnmower check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. The thing, lawnmower man. <laughs> but anyways, keep going. You said it's going to be a great what? Yeah, I think you're going to have a great, a great series of podcasts coming up. Um, I'm looking forward to listening to them, watching them. Uh, see what you do with it all. Yeah, I think it's going to be very exciting. And your, uh, your trip, ah, uh, it's like almost the manifest route Mount Rushmore. And he will be there, and I think the content will be incredible. Yeah, and and like, that's what's cool about it. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people would struggle. I feel like getting it like that, like doing the filming and stuff. But I think since I filmed so many days on my phone and edited on my phone, yeah. it's gonna be super easy for me. It just it's just gonna be different for me. I think because um, everything's kind of closed right now, so I can't really just go to like a, a normal like you know I can't just go to the gym to shower because I have a I have, yeah. a mem- I have a membership that gyms the gyms all over the world so i can just go oh, into the, okay. go into the gym and shower which they might be opening hopefully back up soon before i leave and everything like that so that's going to be a plan to go go take showers at gyms or go to truck stops and be able to take showers at truck stops and wash yeah. your clothes and because i mean two weeks you know you could you could bring enough yeah. clothes for two weeks but uh I don't know, that is tough yeah i might i might uh i might put a little twist on it i might i might only bring enough clothes for a week or something and stay for two and oh. try, to, try to figure it out or something you know I, I've, I see a lot of times where people will even do challenges. They'll they'll try to be gone for like so many so many days, and they'll only bring like a certain amount of clothes or a certain amount of this or whatever, and just go from there and see what happens. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think it'll be fun. I might It'd even I might even go all the way across the all the way across the United States. Go all the way from here to uh, uh, California or something and back. I don't know. We'll see. It's just this whole thing, man. I don't have work right now, so. I might as well uh, take advantage of what I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah. And, and if, it can cut, if I can cut back on the hotels and uh, some of that, oh, lawnmower check. <laughs> this damn lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you yeah. know, yeah, it's just like uh, one of those things. It's like if you can cut on a lot, of, cut down a lot of the extra expenses costs. You know, if I can cut down a hundred dollars a night, fifty dollars a night on a on a hotel, you know, I could then add that for gas or other expenses, and you know, that's a whole other state maybe you can get to. So. Yeah, Pretty awesome, yeah. Man. That would be yeah. something else, you know. I, 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 as you talk, I, I always think when people are talking, I think visually about how it would be, what it looks like. Like when we're talking about the Snapchat when you've done a Christmas special, I think visually as the conversations go in, so I can see it. I yep. can see you traveling and and, and the content. Yeah. So uh, okay, so last question I like to ask all my guests, uh, which I mean technically the first guest, so I haven't asked anybody this yet, but. Um, <laughs> What, what the the question since we're called the Keep On Keeping On podcast, uh, what is what keeps you keeping on? What keeps Des Herbert keep on keeping it on? The the kids, the children keep keeping on, and also the drive to to constantly learn and produce content for you know produce video content. I want to be this entertain entertaining and educational. And just produce. I just want to produce content. Yeah. You left me alone with no money. I'll just produce content. That's awesome. Though. That's that's really cool. I appreciate it, man. So let them know where you're from. Where are everything? Where where, where they can find? You, well, after the lawnmower. <laughs> but uh, Des Herbert, you can find me on YouTube. But you can find me on Instagram. Des, you can find me on Instagram Live Lab with Des. You can find me on Snapchat, Des Herbert, uh, and you can find me, yeah, and yeah, website desherbert.com. Nice. So a bunch of different platforms you guys can find him at. I'll have him send me a bunch of links of everything that he wants me to post on the in the description below for him, 
and I'll put all those down there for him so he can you guys can go over check them out uh, go over there, show him some love, y'all. Tell him, hey, I came from the Keep On Keeping On podcast. Wow. And uh, yeah, show him some love, guys. Let's try to get him another couple hundred subscribers. Let's, I think we can I think we can maybe move it a couple numbers. I don't know if we can get you a couple hundred, but we're going to do our best. If everybody watches it and goes over and shows him a little bit of support, I appreciate you guys. So everyone that supports yeah, me, go that. over and support my good friend here because without him, some of these days would not have happened, y'all, because uh, there's so many oh, days man. where I'm just like, I, I was ready to give up, so... Des, likewise, likewise, I'm very, likewise. It's been, yeah, it's been, it's, it's, I'm an honor to be here as a guest and honored to know you. This is, uh, it's been a great few years. Thank you. Thank you. It's the same, uh, likewise as well. Back to you, as like I said. Um, but yeah, Des, I, I appreciate you coming on, man. I think we, we've done, I like, this is probably over an hour long. I think we did solid. We did a good time here. I think it was definitely really, really nice and amazing. Be able to sit down and talk to you and, get some of like the insights of what made des want to uh what made him do everything and everything else like that and kind of get some of your backstory and i think it was cool everyone found out a bunch of stuff and i think it was a good time so i appreciate you coming on once again and everybody make sure you guys give it up for my good friend des freaking herbert give him a round of applause Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for me. Thanks for me. hey see you later des and like All i right. say every Thank single you. day keep on keeping on don't let him bring it out right. we'll see you tomorrow peace